praise the Lord lift up your hands unto heaven say I'm connected to heaven I refuse to suffer the plight of this earth through my connection with Jesus I'm a guaranteed overcomer I overcome I'm not born again to fail again I'm born again to champion in life say I'm a champion since I'm connected to the mighty champion who is Jesus I'm unstoppable because I'm now under a supreme covenant in the blood of Jesus a mighty covenant a covenant of victory covenant of prosperity say thank you Jesus now let's pray lift up your hands again say my father and my God I'm here to announce I'm here to reaffirm that you are my father I didn't hear you say you are my father I am your child I belong to you you belong to me my name is written in the register of heaven the Holy Spirit lives on the inside of me I'm on this earth as a representative of heaven I'm the ambassador of Jesus Christ I have authority over demonic spirits over witches over wizards over warlords in my blood I carry the DNA of Jesus Christ I carry the blessing of the Lord there's no curse in my system clap your hands and say there's no curse in my system in the name of Jesus say I'm blessed going out I'm blessed coming in jump and rise higher and higher oh lama sukabaya yeah lama sukabaya and tamasaka who's a man stop him oh she lama sukabaya and tamasakabaya oh lama kayanda say in the order of isaiah chapter 60 in the amplified version ampc say i rise say i rise say i rise are you ready to rise say i rise and i shine spiritually financially i rise socially i'm unstoppable oh, shalima sukabaya i'm unstoppable Oh, shalaba sakababaya, mantalaba sukabaya. Lord, we praise you. We worship you. We glorify your holy name. Welcome the fresh anointing of the Holy Spirit upon your life. Malida sita masaka. The Bible says in First John, chapter two, verse number twenty. You have the anointing. You are not looking for it, eh? Say, I have it. Say, anointing. Keep on increasing. Anointing of the Lord. Keep on manifesting. In the name of Jesus. Clap your hands and say, I have the anointing. I'm anointed. Because I'm anointed. I'm unstoppable. Say, I have the anointing. Lepro hashina masukababaya. Oh, Liba Sukabaya. Father, we thank you. We praise you. We glorify your holy name. Tonight, before we go into tomorrow night, I want to give you what is called weapons of victory. Among your mother's children, you must be the best of the best. Amen. When Jesus came, the order of Isaiah 61, he said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel. Look at the first group. Hello, look at the first group mentioned. To who? Jesus came 
to restore to us what sin and curses stole from us. When he said 2,000 years ago it was 3 p.m. at the cross of, of Calvary, it is finished. He was saying every curse has been dealt with. He came to put power in your hands. Are you hearing me? Lift up your hand like this. Say, now that I'm a Christian, power is in my hand. Hallelujah. Say, poverty can never block me again. Say, I possess power. I possess the anointing. I'm together with the Holy Spirit. I have power to conquer poverty in the name of Jesus. So in Isaiah 61, he says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel. The word gospel in the Hebrew is good news. What good news can you bring to a poor person? Excuse me. Let's, let's, what good news? If you, you see a poor person, say, I'm coming with good news for you. The poor person will already tell you, please, how do I come out of poverty? So Jesus came to make it possible that anyone who believes in him will break free from poverty. And the moment you become a Christian, you carry the power, the capacity, the ability to break through from poverty. Say, I break through. Yeah, do like I do. Say, I break through in the name of oh, Shalina Masukaba Yantamasaka. Yes, do your hands like this. Would I break through? I break through. I'm unstoppable. Say, poverty. You are under my feet. You are behind. I'm moving forward. Oh, Shalina Masuka. Poverty is my number one enemy. I hate a, an empty bank account. I just don't like it. Because I decided that from the children of my mother, the children of poverty were all poor. I'm going to push myself higher by force. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Refuse to carry a wallet, a handbag that is carrying newspapers and business cuts off businesses that never started. Say, I'm angry now. I didn't hear you say, I'm angry now. The last time I was here, I told you, I wonder if you still remember. Are you a money commander? Let me see the commanders. Say, money come. You've got to bow to me. Say, the earth is the Lord's. And God is my father. He has placed me in this world. Say, the silver and the gold belongs to my daddy. Money don't waste my time. You belong to my father. US dollar come. Sterling pound come. Euro come. Japanese yen come. Oh, we praise you, Jesus. Say, I hate poverty. So we fast forward, we go to John 10, 10. What did Jesus say? He said the thief comes except to do what? To steal, eh? to do what? To kill and to what? And to destroy. And I made a statement to still remember it. I said, life is warfare. You don't get what you necessarily pray for or wish for. You get what you fight for. Hallelujah. Say I'm a fighter. I didn't hear you say I'm a fighter. Say I take it by force. Say I'm unstoppable. I'm unblockable. I take it by force. Hallelujah. And I also made a statement. I said consistent giving guarantees consistent receiving because givers are receivers power is not in giving it is in consistent giving and after you drop your money here on the altar it looks as a note 
in the realm of the spirit is seed so you begin to make some declarations and say now that i'm giving the money that i gave the whole of last week translate into a harvest oh my god i didn't hear you you say translate into a harvest let more money comes let more money come because jesus said give and it shall be what give it One of the things that you need to be a master on, you need to be someone who is very good in scouting for opportunities. Where others look, you must see. Are you hearing me? There's very little that God will do for you. He has given you the brain, the eyes, the hands, the Holy Spirit, the word of God, a man of God, your prophet, and the prophetess. You are covered. There's no reason for you to fail. I charge you, please take a diary, take a notebook, survey the land like Isaac. Isaac discovered in Genesis 26 that there was scarcity of corn in the land because of the famine. He decided by faith to sow the land, plow the land, and he sowed. The Bible says that same year he harvested a hundredfold because the, year the Lord blessed him. Every born again Christian, let me tell you now, I don't care what your mind tells you. As long as you are seriously born again, washed by the blood, occupied by the Holy Spirit, you don't have a curse. Except the curses you create with your mind. Are you hearing me? You've got to tell yourself I'm blessed. Because the Bible says just as you think so shall you be. Are you hearing me? If the man of God declares some things about curses, it's just to remind you that you, are, you have got power over them. Are you understanding me? A curse cannot survive in my life. No, it can't survive. It can't survive. Because I have the Holy Spirit who's uncaseable. When I move around, I'm pregnant with divinity. I'm a bearer of the divine order. Move around and say, I'm a bearer of the divine order. Are you understanding me? The Bible says you shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. About three months ago, the Lord opened my eyes, man of God. He said the biggest killer that destroys Christians is doubt. It is the devil's number one weapon of mass destruction. When you stand before the mirror, you must see yourself as a child of God. Do you understand? Let me make the statement. Children of people of high positions they are proud they are confident they fear nothing they are arrogant I want you to be arrogant towards the devil arrogant towards poverty are you understanding me because your father is bigger than any president on the earth your father is greater than any king you are a child of a king of kings you are a child of the creator of the universe move around and say i'm not ordinary my father is gigantic my father is mighty my father is jehovah i'm a child of the most high god I can go down. You know, Brian Tracy once made a statement. He said, There's no limit in what you can become, except the limits you create for yourself. Lift up your hands. Jesus spoke some powerful words. Powerful. Mark 9 23. He said, If you can believe. Zila masuka shita mayana. He didn't say if you can cry. He didn't say if you can shout. He said if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. 
said one of the things that made me to really break through in life I embrace the slogan of Nike the sportswear gear makers you know them eh? Nike what do they say just do it God told me I was shocked before we build the church the church was going to cost about 1 million US dollars we hardly had money in the church account God said to me provision follows the vision that's why you've got to write all your things down are you hearing me the people who are controlling money they don't shout like us they don't stay for hours in church they want to stay for an hour and go they are rushing to count money write the vision down provision money is proud money is a spirit money is selective it avoids fools it is proud sometimes you pray for money this has happened to me so many times you find that the money is not coming because God has already seen that when the money comes at that time I will foolishly use it so God protects me in the money from the foolishness so you are busy vibrating money refuses to come because your vision is not clear am I helping you at my age I must give you wisdom state it clear you must write down God must see let's say the money comes the 500 US dollars comes God wants to see where is his cut if he keeps on checking you are saying nothing about him he, he, he suspends the release delays the release so if you say father God your cut is 10% plus another 10% just for honoring decorating you because you are my father and then this other cut I'm going to just give it to the church for the church project and then the remainder of the money this is exactly how I'm going to spend it and this portion I will save <laughs> serious money never goes to people who are not wise maybe they never told you. money is proud money is strict money is a spirit it has a persona that's why the bible says you can't save god and money money has a joint sitting with god people can choose money or god and never forget this money avoid fools lift up your hands let's pray i want you to to repent to money i want you to ask for forgiveness to money and say money however i've despised you i repent however i've mismanaged you i repent pray talk to god say father qualify me again by the blood of Jesus to be a recipient of serious money yes pray lenda masaka say father god you can qualify me again lord you can qualify me almighty god to receive serious money again i promise that i won't be foolish when money comes in the name of jesus i will be a good manager of money i will use it oh my god wisely because money is selective money is proud money never goes to fools it cuts itself off when it sees someone who's not managing it well pray 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 
Say, Father, I promise you from today, I shall be a good steward, a good steward, a good steward, a good steward. Yes, a good steward, a good manager of resources, a good steward of money. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Lord. Yes, Shapakatala Masakabaya. Oh, Shalina Masukabaya. I declare man is coming I declare man is coming now you receive words of wisdom so you will act wisely I declare the grace of man is coming upon you in the mighty name of Jesus let's go back to the discourse if you want to maximize it please I'm begging you have a clear vision write down the things you want to achieve hallelujah every christian carries mg money grace as long as we are a tither as long as we are a giver but where christians fail men of god is in the action in the side of working because when you place your money here there's a grace that comes upon you remember god does not give you cash he gives you power to get so the getting part needs some business activity. Can we do it again? When you release your offering, by the time you, you go out, there's an increase of power to get. You see, God told Isaac, stay here, I will bless you. If Isaac was like the Christians of today, he was going to go into his house, vibrate in tongues the whole day praising my savior all the day long but the man after he got that word the bible says he sojourned surveyed the land what was that it was a practical action of looking for opportunities he understood the economic situation of that time he identified the need of that time and the men swung to action to provide the crucial vital commodity that was going to be needed your man of god told you he was the first man who who discovered the borehole technology the man was selling corn selling water there was no rain ask your neighbor you are busy vibrating what are you selling What are you selling? Prosperity is not a product of prayer. It is a product of giving, a product of innovation, a product of working. We are not regulated by the world economic system. The economic system that regulates us is the heavenly one. Even during economic hardships, we rise. That's why Job, once upon a time, he said, while others say we are going down, we'll say, with us, we are rising. Are you understanding? We are a different breed, different pedigree, different community. The Bible says we are a chosen generation. We've been called out of darkness to proclaim, to show forth the power of the God who saved us. You are not born again to struggle again. I'm angry now. You are not born again to be broke again. You are not born again to suffer again. Lift up your voice and say from tonight, I rise to my correct level say I reconfigure the way I see myself I'm a child of the most high God I can't go down hey be angry at poverty because if the church men of God has got poor Christians it won't do much it won't you need to have a prosperity mentality Say, I'm born of God. I carry the grace, the MG, money grace. Let's go back to the discourse. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy 8, 18 says, You shall factor, remember the Lord your God. For it is he who gives you what? Power. 
power to get every christian who's born again number one who's a tither number two who is a give of offering number three my god who has the holy spirit every born again christian has got power to get the problem is we don't deploy it we give and we go and watch netflix show max can you imagine after giving you are sitting on this you are watching all the tiktok funny videos until past midnight until you remember oh it's prayer time now a church so you are you are looking on looking on god gives you time in the time you develop ideas and those ideas must be for money making because money answers all things you see if you are broke you 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 don't have influence influence is for the affluent we can't attract people to church if we are driving tired cars You live in a house where the curtains have lost color. And inside you are busy vibrating. Say welcome apostle. This is your year of shining. Isaiah 60 says rise shine for your light has come the glory of Jehovah which is the Holy Ghost and his anointing has descended upon you it says darkness will cover the earth deep darkness the people but they will be attracted to your light are you understanding me you must radiate refuse to be ordinary refuse to fail choose to shine hey people are watching you rise your feet and say from today I'm going to be a shining star I say I'm a game changer say I will make God proud I'm a results producer prosperity is mine the grace of prosperity runs in my blood say thank you Jesus say I will not underperform in Jesus name you know This thing is so strong in my spirit. Isaac discovered a business concept that began to give him mega bucks. The Bible says in Genesis 26, 12, the men plowed and sowed. Verse 13 says, and the man began to prosper. And he continued to prosper. But he never began to prosper through prayer. It was not vibrating that brought the money. It was strategic thinking. It was securing a business concept. Christians love drama. They don't love working. Are we discussing tonight? Christians love drama. Yeah. If we we're, were part of the movie makers, we're going to do very well. Listen to me. Power is in innovative thinking. I charge you in the presence of Jehovah, your Father. I charge you in the presence of the Holy Spirit who lives on the inside of you. From this day, from this very hour, stop underperforming. Stop it! Become a think tank woman, a think tank man. Think out strategies. Hallelujah. A story is told that when Bill Gates was about 14 years old, a 14 year boy, he would occasionally disappear from the house and the mother would look for him, find him in a corner there. Bill, what are you doing there? I'm thinking. 
What are you thinking? Money making strategies. At 14 years. Wow. Do you get time to think? When you sit alone in your room. How do I shift my life to the next level? What are the barriers? What are the limitations? Where am I wasting time? Because I've discovered God blesses the work of your hands. He doesn't bless your wishes. This is serious. If wishes were horses, beggars would be riding. The Bible in Habakkuk 2, 2 it says, write the vision down. I charge my members every year, I said, when the year begins, buy a new diary. Begin to write the things you need to achieve. This church must shock Zimbabwe. The Bible says in Zechariah 1.17, Thus says the Lord, that the cities of our God will be built through what? Through prosperity. We will build nothing for God if we're broke. Lift up your hands. We will build nothing for God if we're broke. I curse that spirit. Oh, I curse it in the name of the Lord. I remove it from your life forever. The grace for money comes upon you in a double portion in Jesus' name. You will innovate. You will think out new ideas. You will know what to supply with. You will become one of the notable suppliers of vital commodities. You will become a supplier. Oh my God. You will become a supplier. This this church must be full of suppliers. This church must be full of merchandisers. This church must be full of importers of goods. In the name of Jesus, like Lydia of Tiatira, the Bible says she was the importer of people, expensive material from Italy. I declare you shall import goods from Europe, goods from China, goods from Malaysia. Oh my God, you shall import goods rise and shine clap your hands and say yes Lord I'm rising say yes Lord I'm a seller of merchandise I import merchandise I ship goods from overseas I ship goods yes pray 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 if you can believe all things are possible if you can believe oh declare and say the underperformance is coming to an end the the failure to make money is coming to an end. The underperformance is coming to an end. Oh, Shalina Masuka Babaya. Hey, you can imagine on a Sunday you bring some friends, neighbors to church in a Viano. Yeah. Hey, when they enter it, there's a TV screen there. You say you can be watching our sermons even before we go to church. That's what our pastor preaches. We can't attract people if we are broken busted. Please reject failure. Say I reject it. Every limitation must leave you now. 